All right, guys, Phil Downer here, the fat loss expert, the looking sexy expert. Give me a little subscribe, give me a little follow, and enjoy the videos. Oh, shit, shit, stop, 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 no, 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 wait. Okay, come over here, come over here. So, see that? That's every girl's dream. Everyone wants an ass like Phil. But once again, social media is just distracting everybody. I want to talk about what it takes to actually build your glutes. But more importantly, let's just talk about how to build muscle in general. So once again, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because there's plenty more fantastic content that's going to give you a lot of value. So give me a subscribe, give me a follow, support me. Come on. But in this day and age on social media, people have got to think, right, how can I attract attention? I am desperate for likes. I'm desperate for views. Oh, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make up some shitty ass exercise that people think, oh, that looks good. That's that. I'll give that a little go. If people have got muscle, if people have got fantastic glutes, if girls are looking sexy, then they've done the proper training to get that. But that could be deemed as quite boring. If a girl just starts doing some squat or does some hip thrust, eh, I've seen that before, that looks okay. But here's what I'll do. I'll do some fancy ass shit, start moving this leg, start wiggling it about, and that's gonna get me views. So people have gone beyond the educational purposes. It's all about attention, it's all about views, it's all about likes. And to get that, they've gotta do something a little bit different. But people fall for it, people start thinking, right, Oh, that must be what it takes, but it's not necessarily the case. You need to do the proper exercises. But before we get into it properly, I want to talk to you about this one small step of information that's going to change your lifting career. When it comes to any muscle that's on our body, every single muscle has a role to do. For example, the primary role of the glute is to extend the hips. This is hip extension. That is hip extension. So from here now, I want to extend the hips. Bam. That's it. That's the primary role of the glutes. Another role of the glutes is to abduct. So you want to come out like that. So keeping my body upright, and I can feel it working in my glutes. But here's the thing, that's only going to be a very small, minor part of my glute growth and glute activation. If I can focus on the main part of the glutes and extend these hips, then that is where the majority of my growth is going to come from. It's like a lot of guys when it comes to building their arms. All oh, this is going on, all the swing with the dumbbells. When in reality, you just need to think, right, what builds the triceps? What's the role of the tricep? It's to extend the elbow. If I want to flex the elbow, the bicep works. That's it. You just need to understand the mechanics of each and every single muscle. So let's get down to the glutes then. Always protect the crown jewels. So the main role of the glutes is to extend the hips. So the two exercises that I would choose that really, really dominates the hip extension is hip thrust and hip extension. So in this position now, I want to keep that chin tucked and I want to come down with the hips. And as I come up now, there's no momentum. It's just a hip doing all the works. And then squeeze that ass to the top. So yeah, you can't do the fancy exercises where you've seen a lot of girls do push something around their ankle, hold onto the cable and do a lot of this. But what's that gonna do really is that's gonna encourage blood flow. That's gonna get activation. That's gonna get you quite ready for doing your main lifts of the hip extension, which is what you really require to get an ass like Phil. Exercise number two, when it comes to dominating the glutes. Now, hip extension. This is worth mentioning as well. This is another, a little bit of snippet. You need to take this away with you. A lot of people tend to have a lot of lower back pain when it comes to doing anything with the glutes or extending the hips. We need to eliminate the lower back, the QL, when it comes to any of these type of exercises. So in doing so, of course, when we're in position, we want to focus on extending the hips. But whilst we're there as well, we don't want any spinal movement going on. We don't want any of this. It just looks a bit weird, but trust me, this is the last position you want to be in. We don't want this, okay? We want to be able to get that belly button sucked in and the glutes coming in. And that's our position. So I'm really hunched in. Now I can feel the glutes immediately myself anyway, just from standing up. But I've also eliminated the low back. That QL is not going to be doing any work whilst I'm on this exercise. Same goes for the hip thrust. So I'm going to get myself in position. I'm going to lean over as much as I possibly can. And like I say, no, no, no. Yes, yes, yes. If I do this, 
my low back's taking me up. That's where you get the lot of pressure, a lot of bad back pain, your low back. So I want to come down straight away. The glutes are now, now nice and stretched. Feel good, that you know. And I've got that nice curve in the spine that I want. I'm going to drive through the hips. So I'm going to come up, 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 up. And that's my top position. Them glutes are on fire. I could even hold the plates in front of me to make it harder for myself. I'm going to come back down. And for me to come up, it's all about that hip drive. It's nothing in my upper body. I'm not doing this. I'm staying over. And then I'm sure you've seen something like this before. Looks like some form of bondage or sex machine, doesn't it? Don't be getting too excited. Jump yourself on, feet in position. And once again, the more I can have my hips coming off, the more weight I've got to control, the harder it's going to be. So the more my body weight is over, the harder it becomes. If I want to make it easy for myself, I bring myself further back in. So as you can see, the hips are off. I'm going to get my starting position. I'm going to get the nice round of back again. I'm going to drive through the hips. Coming up, back down. The glutes are on fire. I'm not doing any of this because straight away I can just feel my low back kicking in now. So they're the two very dominant main glute exercises. If you can get good at them and then you start adding more weight on each and every week alongside a very good diet with high protein, you have just grew a bump. Then of course, you've got your other leg exercises. You've got your squats, you've got your lunges. But if we was looking at those two exercises, what's happening there? If I lower myself down, you'll notice there's a lot of hip extension to come back up. But if I also realize there's a lot of knee extension as well. So squats are a very good exercise, but it's not glute dominant. Of course, as soon as them knees come into play, I'm now bringing me quads and hamstrings and the hips as well. So I've got a lot of glutes, I've got a lot of hamstrings, I've got a lot of quads. Same goes for lunges. If I was to lunge forward, you can see now I've got a bend in the knee. I've got a bend in the hip. So for me to come up, yes, it's good for glutes, but it's not solely glute exercise. Guys, that was a lot of good information there. Please incorporate that into your training. Let me know how you get on. Once again, give me a subscribe, give me a follow. Here's to being sexy in 2024.